An essential ingredient to running a successful business is ensuring you compensate your employees accurately and on time. Even though there are now many tools available that ease the headaches of the payroll process, mistakes, believe it or not, are still quite prevalent. And fixing them, unfortunately, requires time and sometimes additional costs to the employer. So, in this episode of HR Party of One, we'll cover some of the most common payroll mistakes and we'll share seven helpful tips that you can implement to ensure that your payroll management process runs smoothly each time. We'll discuss common payroll mistakes, seven tips for effective and efficient payroll management, and a peek into Bernie Portal's payroll solution. Now let's dive in. Common payroll mistakes. The truth is payroll management can be a downright daunting task, but it has to get done and done right the first time. Let's take a look at five of the most common payroll errors. Number one, incorrect worker classification. The Fair Labor Standards Act established a minimum wage, overtime pay, record keeping and child labor standards that affect both full-time and part-time workers. It also specifies the requirements for paying exempt and non-exempt employees, including the forms of payment employers can include or exclude from the time and one half pay calculation. The FLSA also clarifies rules about how to calculate perks, benefits, and bonuses, plus so much more. So, to avoid violating the FLSA and incurring compliance fines, it would be beneficial for you to learn how to correctly classify your employees and understand what this means when running payroll. I'll drop a link in the description where you can find more information. Number two, miscalculating an employee's pay. When it comes down to it, there are a multitude of possible errors to be made when calculating employee pay. In addition to base pay compensation, bonuses, reimbursements, stipends, and sales commissions need to be factored in, as well as correct garnishments for fines, taxes, and child support, which need to be deducted and properly dispersed. It's also imperative that benefits deductions like health insurance, HSA, or FSA accounts, and pre-tax deductions like commuter costs are accurately withheld. These days, so many people live paycheck to paycheck that miscalculating pay can significantly impact their livelihood in a negative way. Not to mention miscalculating pay could lead to IRS penalties, particularly if you pay less taxes on income than what is really owed. Neither is a desirable result, so it's best to get the details right. Number three, missing pay deadlines. Missing pay deadlines is a common mistake, and when it happens, who can be assured that your employees will not be happy? One way to ensure that you don't miss a payment deadline is to have a pay schedule in place and a payroll system that sends you reminders like Bernie Portal. Whether you pay your employees monthly, semi-monthly, bi-weekly, weekly, or even on demand, you need to first satisfy state requirements and then determine what's best for you and your employees. I'll put a link in the description below that can help you determine which pay schedule is right for your organization. Number four, neglecting tax forms. Tax forms are an important part of your payroll process. While they may seem like a hassle, failing to keep them up to date and remain compliant can create an even bigger hassle since you'll need to issue payroll corrections that will cost time and money. Plus, you run the risk of incurring a hefty fine. Three of the most important forms you'll need to keep track of are Form 940, which you'll use to report annual federal unemployment tax for the calendar year. Form 941, which you'll submit quarterly to the IRS so employees know how much income tax, social security tax, and Medicare tax you've withheld from their paychecks. And finally, Form W-4, which employees fill out so the employer can withhold the correct federal income taxes from their wages. Two additional forms you'll need to keep track of are Form W-2, which details the amount of compensation you paid out to your employees, and Form 1099, which details the amount you've paid to freelancers or independent contractors. Lastly, if your state collects income tax, be sure to include your state's withholding documents as well. And finally, number five, incomplete records. 
No one likes to be audited, but it does happen. And therefore it's critical that you as an employer maintain proper employee pay records. The FLSA requires that organizations retain payroll records for three years. These include time cards, wage rate tables, work and time schedules, plus many other items. For a complete list, visit the FLSA website. I'll put a link in the description below. This may seem like a lot of documentation, but consider that having all these records updated and on file could potentially prevent your organization from incurring fines down the road. Now that you're aware of the most common errors employers make when it comes to payroll management, let's take a look at the seven helpful tips that will ensure a smooth and seamless payroll process for you and your organization. Seven tips for effective and efficient payroll management. In order to have an effective and efficient payroll process, you'll need to create an intentional plan. The seven tips I'm about to share with you will help you develop and maintain that plan. Let's dive in. Number one, create a payroll process manual. The first step to creating an effective and efficient payroll management system is to develop a manual outlining the detailed steps of your organization's payroll process. While it may seem like a huge undertaking, this document will serve as a valuable tool when questions arise about payroll specific topics. Plus, it'll benefit new team members when they join your organization. Everything pertaining to your payroll process will live in one place, removing any second guessing if and when a problem occurs. If you need a starting point for your manual, start with the training documentation from your payroll provider. For example, Bernie Portal has a knowledge base with detailed articles about how to run payroll. It will need to include things like establishing pay periods and ensuring accurate time and PTO counts. You'll also want to have an offboarding checklist to terminate employees who have left the organization, complete outstanding benefit enrollments, and set up any custom earning and deduction types. Lastly, you'll need to ensure that employees have completed their direct deposit W-4 and state withholding document. Ideally, your payroll provider will have safeguards in place for this. Creating a payroll manual can be time consuming, but lucky for you, you have Bernie Portal as a resource that outlines each of those processes I just mentioned. Check out the link in the description for a detailed guide. Number two, classify workers correctly. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the most common errors employers make. Whatever payroll process you're currently using, conduct an audit to ensure that each employee has been classified correctly. You may want to conduct regular audits and include them in your payroll management manual so they become an integral part of your process. Number three, classify pay correctly. Once you've classified your workers correctly, then go ahead and ensure that they are being paid accordingly. Again, you may want to audit your payroll so you can correct any misclassifications. Number four, create a payroll calendar. When it comes to payroll management, there are too many important dates to remember, like when to submit pay stubs, retirement documents, and tax forms. So creating a payroll calendar will help you and your organization stay on track and hopefully prevent you from missing important deadlines, which could result in hefty fines. Bernie Portal has a fantastic HR calendar that includes important filing deadlines, reminders, and notifications with comprehensive explanations. You can adopt this calendar or use it to create one of your own that fits the needs of your organization. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can take a look. Number five, run payroll in-house instead of outsourcing. The debate between running payroll in-house or outsourcing it is an ongoing one and organizations sometimes struggle with choosing the right option. Outsourcing to payroll services or financial professionals usually costs more in the long run. If you want to have more control over your payroll management process and ensure it's accurate and efficient, then there's really only one option, acquiring an in-house payroll system. Plus, your organization will enjoy the cost savings. Gone are the days of spreadsheets and calculating on paper, which leads me to my next tip. Number six, automate your payroll system, including benefits, time, and PTO. By automating your payroll system, the potential for error significantly decreases. 
Use an HRIS that includes benefit enrollment, time, and PTO tracking so you aren't entering or combining information from multiple systems into spreadsheets. You simply enter your parameters like your organization's pay schedule, employee payment preferences and tax withholdings, and the software does the rest. Bernie Portal recently launched its own payroll feature that lives within our complete HRIS. I'll put a link in the description below so you can learn more about whether it can benefit your organization. You can even demo the product to get a feel for how it could work for you. Number seven, consider earning your payroll certification. Payroll certification refers to the process by which human resources professionals demonstrate their mastery of the knowledge and skills needed to successfully carry out payroll responsibilities. It's by no means a requirement for payroll professionals, but it clarifies the role and responsibilities of the payroll management professional, which result in a decrease in costly errors, more consistent compliance, and it provides access to a network of payroll professionals who can advise on difficult issues. Plus, it looks great on a resume and employers are more likely to hire payroll certified candidates. If becoming payroll certified is something that interests you, then visit the American Payroll Association, or APA, to learn more about the various certifications they offer. I'll put a link in the description for you. A peek into Bernie Portal's payroll solution. Here at Bernie Portal, we understand that payroll can get complicated, which is why we designed a payroll solution that will benefit small to mid-sized businesses. With Bernie Portal's payroll feature, employers will be able to manage all aspects of the payroll process, all within one HRIS platform. Some of the highlights of the Bernie Portal payroll feature include seamless integration, all in one HR, including benefits, PTO, time, and more, accurate tax withholding, a limited number of payroll runs, access to a dedicated support team, and access to a robust library of resources. If you're looking to streamline your payroll management process, then take a look at what Bernie Portal can offer to you and your organization. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find more information, including the opportunity to demo the software. As always, remember that your role is as strategic as you make it. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One updates and new episodes. Also, join our HR Party of One group on LinkedIn.